Hey guys, Boyd from Big Feathers Farm, and right now I am making the frame for the water tower for the chickens. And this water tower is going to hold all the water that I will be using now for the chickens. So I only have to open this valve in the front right here so that the water comes out for the chickens. And that's how I'm going to water them now. And that's it. Alright guys, here's an update. So we are making a frame for the water tow right now. We put four by fours together in the frame from the water to tote and we put planks around it to hold it together and then we put these uh, round poles we had inside of there and then we put screws in there to support them a little bit and then we're going to put old metal brackets we have around there so to support the metal pole the round poles just a little bit more and hopefully that will be enough to uh, make the water tote stand still. <clears throat> And then we're going to put a piece of plywood on the bottom of the frame, right down there. And then that's what the water tote's going to sit on. So that was just an update for you guys. Alright guys, so this was day one of building the frame and the structure for the water tote that we have. It's going to have to be very strong because it has to hold 2,500 pounds of water. So that's going to be very heavy with this. So we want to make sure that it's very strong and sturdy. And we made all of this from leftover materials and scraps that we had. So we didn't have to buy anything. So that's an awesome part of this. And it's pretty sturdy, I'd say, for now. And we're going to add some more things tomorrow. See you guys later. It's 96 degrees and 95% humidity and it is hot. All right guys, here we are uh, several months later. Uh, we have the water tower here and uh, we are just now getting ready to put it inside of the hole. And uh, this, the reason why it took uh, a little bit longer is because I had to go back to school. I had to go back to school for a while and so it couldn't get done immediately and uh, as you guys have seen in one of my previous shorts I had to come back with my friends and do this again because I made a mistake before I made the hole way too small and so I had to expand it and uh, put another layer of concrete on there and so the concrete is going to hold the water tower and then uh, then and then it's going to be uh, on in the thing for the water tower to sit on and all the water is going to be there with the chickens so we're going to get ready and put this in there. Alright so uh, we chose the concrete to put in the ground because we wanted a stable foundation because whenever we have the rainy season here and it rains a lot in the clay ground we didn't want the 500 gallons of water to move the water tower because it's going to be so heavy on the ground so the concrete was the best way to put it in and so this should be able to hold it and hold all the water that's going to be inside the water tower. Alright guys, we finally have it in. It's pretty water balanced as we measured it out.
Okay, it's uh, starting to fill up now. There you go. <laughs> starting to fill up the water tank for the chickens. It'll probably take several, or oh, a lot of hours to fill up. And uh, I'll see you guys when it's totally filled. I really don't think I've ever had this many mosquitoes out here. Well guys, this is the water tower. Uh, hopefully this will automatically water the chickens. We still have to put a couple more pipes in there so that the water can flow to the each of the chicken runs so it can be fully automatic. And I only have to turn the nozzle to fill up the waters. And uh, this is 500 gallons of water for 50 chickens. Uh, this is Boyd from Big Feathers Farm and building a big water tower for my chickens.